Envolt, environmental data measurement and presentation. Any measurement from anywhere, available everywhere. This is a continuation of the Envolt series of instructional videos. This can be accessed from a variety of locations, but perhaps most conveniently it is available from YouTube. To find this and other videos in this series, visit www.youtube.com and type Greenspan GTS into the search bar. My name is Chris Godding. You might remember me from such films as Discovery Channel, Man Made Marvels. Greenspan installs state-of-the-art monitoring stations out in the field. The equipment that we've put into this system is at the absolute cutting edge of instrumentation, communications and process control. The Envolt product is a complete data collection, modelling, alarming package with a web-based front end that can act as a standalone interface or can complement the on-site front end. Envolt has a variety of tools from online interactive trends, Excel data linkages, historical database queries and various behind the scenes modules such as alarming, reporting and modelling. But the feature of this presentation is the Google Earth integration that can turn Google Earth into a SCADA Lite application. We are going to assume a basic level of Google Earth knowledge for this presentation and focus purely on the Envolt integration into Google Earth. The first step is to visit your sites in Google Earth. These are accessed from the file downloads in the user menu area. For information on how to access this area if you don't have an existing account, please email me at sales at greenspan.com.sg. That's sales, S-A-L-E-S, -E at greenspan.com.sg. I can set you up with a time-limited demonstration account. Once you are in this area, click on the sitemap.kml file and download it to your local PC. KML is short for Keyhole Markup Language, the language used for displaying geographic visualizations by Google Earth and other programs. Then you'll need to open Google Earth. From the File menu, select Open and Navigate to the sitemap.kml file on your computer. When successfully loaded, the screen will show the stations as a folder in the Places area to the left hand side of the window and then the station themselves on the map. Of course you can use the normal Google Earth functions to zoom in to get a better look. At the right zoom level, the station locations become clear and obvious. In this example, a flow monitoring station and two rainfall stations. If you want to get a clearer picture of the location of any station, you can of course zoom in and have a look. In this case, the flow monitoring station is shown right on the bank of the river. This is nice if all you want to do is look at your locations, but from here on in, we make Google Earth come alive. Let's click on the station called RG04 and have a look. This is showing us the current measurements from the station viewed live in Google Earth. In this case, you can see that this station has had 21.6 millimeters of rain over the last 24 hours, a moving window time period, and that it has plenty of battery reserve at 13.22 volts. If you're interested in drilling down for more detailed information, Envolt provides a link to the site page from where you can do all the historical queries you want and if you're interested in more geographical information about the site Google Earth can provide all your directions. Repeat this process and have a look around. The other rainfall station has been a bit drier at 14 millimeters. And the flow meter station is starting to pick up some flow at 3.9 cubic meters per second. This shows Google Earth as an alternative window for viewing live information from the stations. When we say live, what does that mean? If you have a look at the folder in your places, you will see that it has a little green dot on a network style link. 
if you watch this dot you will see that it changes to a little yellow dot and moves backwards and forwards. This shows when Google Earth is refreshing the data from the NVault servers. If you want to speed things up, right click on the folder and click the refresh option for an update right now. You can perform this on individual stations if you want. So Google Earth is a nice neat way of displaying up to date information overlaid on a highly detailed geographical window. Nice but there's plenty left. For those paying attention you may have noticed that the colour of the dots were different. As you can see here the two rainfall stations are red. In general a dot will be white. This means all OK. For the rainfall stations they are telling you that all is not OK. In this case the dots are red showing the alarm state. The icon will automatically change to red when an alarm is active from a site. In the case of the rainfall stations that was because they had received a high amount of rain in the last 24 hours an alarm condition. Alarming comes with all the features of mobile phone alerts, emails, escalation, redirection and so on because of the SCADA engine running behind the scenes. Another powerful feature provided by the SCADA engine is modelling. SCADA is great for displaying current information. However, for future information you want to be able to make some predictions based on the current information. Envolt has powerful modelling capabilities. Here we have two rainfall stations and a flow station, a nice little flood warning system. Envolt can call a model that will look at the current information, the historical information and knowledge about the catchment to predict the future. Once that prediction has been made, this can be overlaid onto the map as a transparent layer. An example of this is shown. As the rain increases and the flow increases, the model makes revised forecasts of the inundation area increasing in damage based on real-time field measurements. That's nice, modelling is great, but how about adding satellite rainfall displays into the mix? Now we're talking. Just like the model forecasts, these can be overlaid as a transparent layer. This could be anything satellite rainfall, rainfall isohytes, anything. This short presentation was to show one of the great uses of Envolt. Teaming Envolt with Google Earth to provide an alternative SCADA Lite style application. The features of real-time data display, graphical alarm indication, directions, links to historical data from the servers, and the ability to overlay model or satellite layers give Envolt powers beyond any traditional data presentation product. Stay tuned for the next in the series. Thank you.